Greetings YouTube, uh, this is the Night Welder, and for this video I have decided uh, not to make a review or a list or anything like that. Today I'm just going to show you my entertainment center and you know whatever I might use to make my videos, which isn't really much. But anyways, I'm going to start off with uh, my tape player. Yeah, I guess that you could consider it ancient, you know, or... Uh, you know, old, but I still keep one around in case I ever want to feel nostalgic and pop a tape in or if I want to play or anything, and it plays the tapes perfectly fine and, you know, it works quite well. And even the radio is top-notch quality. And I've had this thing for six plus years or so, so it's a, really a quality product here, which has worked for a very long time and it's probably going to work for a, quite a while longer. And I guess the reason for the good radio reception is probably the, uh, the long antenna. Anyways, moving on to my CD radio. Well, this one, first off, it does play the radio, but it's not quite as good as my, uh, as my tape player. Because the connection is a little bit fuzzy. Still plays, but it's a little bit fuzzy. For example, there are some stations that I can play on my tape player, but I can't play on my CD player. But the CD player does play CDs well, and that's its main purpose. So, that's what I keep it for. Even though nowadays CDs are even getting out of date because everything's on online or on the computer, but I personally prefer to keep a physical copy as well. But anyways... Moving on to an even older device than any of these so far. Well, I'm not sure if this is older than the tape player, but same concept. The VCR. Well, the one I have right now isn't old, but it's probably pretty new because it's, it's still nice looking and the buttons glow. I really like that because... If I'm watching the movie and my room is dark and I don't want to stop it or, or rewind or something like that, I won't have to fumble around with the buttons. I can, you know, see it right where it is because it glows. And that's a good thing. But it's probably the most recently made one I've seen, really, because of that nice feature about it. And anyways, that's how I watch my VHS movies. And yes, I do keep VHS movies because... It's nostalgic. And uh, speaking of VCRs, I actually have an extra in my closet, just in case this one stops working. Well, this one is a little bit more old in the fact that its buttons don't glow. And besides, that works fine. Besides the fact that if I popped in a movie and played it, it all goes good, except for if I want to rewind, I'll press rewind. And it'll actually skip forward a little bit, and then it'll start rewinding. But that's only a small glitch that I could live with if I had to use it. But anyways, I keep this as an extra in case the one I have right now stops working. Okay, what good is a VCR without a TV? Like this one here that I have. It's uh, the favorite TV I've had so far, and I guess the reason for that is because the way it looks. You know, all TVs basically work the same, but this one, I, I like the, the, the rounded black, and then the, the silver. I just like that, that design. And, you know, it's a normal working TV. But I do keep a special pair of headset so that I won't break it or anything. A special headset for the TV. Because, you know, if I wanted to watch a movie, I use a headset so I don't disturb anybody. Especially for those more questionable movies. But, uh, that about wraps it up. Oh, yeah, I also want to show you. Actually, I, I can actually use my TV as speakers. See, that's why I don't buy speakers, because my TV does it for me. See, I have this cord, which has, you know, a, a headset, uh, a headset plug. So I can plug it into anything that, that will that can use headphones. And then on the other end, it has an audio and video jack to plug into the TV. 
Well, obviously the video jack is kind of useless because it will not take video. It only plugs into the audio jack. But anyways, I can plug in the audio jack to the TV, and there you go. My TV will be um, will be my speakers when I go to the auxiliary channel. So, in, for example, I can plug it in to my uh, radio or my CD player or even to this laptop, you know, if I want to play something with an amplified sound, I just use my TV. And it's really cool. You know, I can even plug in this this weird little bat gizmo device into my TV and it'll use the sound effects from that even. So, anyways, that's a, a nifty little thing that I do. And that wraps it all up and thanks for your time and, you know, for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.